I now have something very special to show you, and I send this segment out to my friend, Katie. I mean, it's supposed to happen naturally. I was. I gotta get this last piece. Go slowly. It says desert view stream. Okay. Sorry. There's no Okay. So what we just the passed forest. there was um, a controlled burn in the forest. Um, I don't know why they did it. We're not sure why they were burning, but all that smoke was the last remaining pieces of fire burning the wood. We're going to take this path <laughs> and try to check out a place called Yaki Point. And we believe this sort of man-made dirt path will take us to the same point that a major uh, other path with a sign and everything was pointing to. So let's have a look. I'm not sure if you can hear, but there's this crackling noise throughout this entire forest. You have the birds way up, way up there. I wonder what that crackling is. And it looks like we've made it to the edge. This is the Grand Canyon. No fences. There's another one of those little lizards. <laughs> Don't go too close. Please. Wait, now what do we think, Wotan? Oh, there's a... Yeah, what do we think, Wotan? Whatever. Damn it, get the bird. Looks like the bird. Yeah, that's They're it. All gonna I bet they'd have barely had to flat just ride them. I think you're probably right. right. The other side, right? We look pretty far. We're definitely going in a different direction. So awesome. You know, it kind of looks like, you know the sand things you do when you're a little kid? Yes. Yeah. It kind of looks like that. Yeah. And there's a bigger building to the left of it. Is it right at the end? Close Almost. It's so it's so warm. 
It's difficult to hold the camera steady because there's tons of little bugs and insects that just land right on me, on my hand. There's actually one right there. And so, sometimes they're a little startling. Um, you know, I'm not scared of them, but they'll just land right on my hand and sometimes it itches and all these <laughs> interesting feelings and sensations when a bug lands on you. So, I apologize if my camera's a little wobbly. And there's all those creaking, crickling noises. I don't know what kind of mileage this thing gets. Maybe this is Grandview. It's got a sign. Now this, this truly is the great outdoors. Where I can walk down there and basically fall to my death. There are no um, fences or any type of barricades to prevent me from losing my footing and heading to my death. It is just amazing. Each stop that we go to, it, it amazes me even more and more. You would think, or some people may think, that the longer you look at the Grand Canyon, the less amazing it is, but Really, the more you see, the more you realize how much there still is to take in. So it just keeps growing in, um, in amazement. I'm, I'm basically at a loss for words here. I'm going to see if I can take this path and see if I can head out there. We're making it to the top of this little cliff here. And it kind of ends right there, I think. Now, this is the first time I haven't planned this shot, so I don't know what I'm going to see. I have to be careful. It's loose ground here. So I'm probably going to walk up behind this tree to give myself something to brace myself on. I'm now on one of the tips. There's a, le uh, a level slightly below me, but on the other sides, it's basically a free fall. It's amazing the scope of what you can see out here. I'm probably gonna grab the camera and uh, show it, but first I'm gonna get a picture with my iPhone and how far up I am. Maybe get my foot in the shot. It's too wide to even get my foot in the shot. Maybe I can try it this way. It truly is incredible to see the tops of extremely tall pine trees, but looking at them from almost a, looks like a mile above. So I'm heading out onto the cliff that I just stood on. And it's a long way down on either side. It is absolutely remarkable up here. I actually feel pretty safe, oddly enough. Not sure why that would be. I'm probably just crazy. My mom's looking at me from afar. That's them. <laughs> 